Okay, gonna go through a quick hive inspection. It is raining out here. And it looks like got a lot of ladybugs. Yeah. Okay, it's a quilt box. Yeah, it looks like they're doing pretty good. About out of sugar though. I'm not sure what they're like going down in the frames. Really need to take a look at that though and see what's going on. But they are actually booming down in here. Bees. Okay, I'm not gonna go deep inside. I see what they're doing there. To wait till a warmer day. Take a look at this one. Yep, they're doing pretty good too. Looks like they might be that out of their sugar too that I put on. Now ah, they still got quite a bit of sugar in there for them. Okay, I do you want to walk over to my Italians? We'll take a look at theirs. See what type of activity we have up here. Uh, not really a whole lot going on there. Still quite a bit of sugar. See some bees. We get a little bit deeper here past this sugar. Not too many bees really. Still kind of a small cluster. Although this frame here has a lot of extra honey in it that I took out of some of the hives, that, a couple of the hives I lost this year. I gave this hive a little bit more feed. So they may not really be all moved up into this one yet. Okay, check the sugar on this one. Not really too much going on there. Got a couple there I see down in there but not really a whole lot so I'm going to go deeper down in there and see what's happening Okay, not too much activity up here on top. I do want to go down inside and look at the, see what's going on down here. It still feels really heavy. So there's a lot of sugar, a lot of honey left. Nice cluster in there. These are Italians. So. Okay. 
starting to rain, so I uh, went for a little bit of shelter. Um, things aren't looking too bad, I guess. Uh, and my carnolians here with these two. Um, looks like one's about out of the sugar that I put on there, so I am going to have to feed something. Looks like the bees are booming out of there. Uh, normally, carnolians don't um, start earlier than the Italians, but uh, they're definitely starting pretty early in there. Uh, still a little bit uh, cold for me to do a deep dive in. Next week it's going to be about 58, uh, and hopefully we'll have some days it's not rainy, and I can go deeper down in to see what's going on, how much broods down there. Are they starting to, you know, beef up a little bit? Uh, my concern is that we're still going to have some cold snaps for maybe a week or so still snow coming through. Uh, I don't want them to build up with brood because uh, then bees, of course, will stay on the brood. They won't leave the brood to cluster up. And so the risk of just losing the whole hive dying out is, is pretty high if that happens. So... I'm hoping they're not, not brooding up too much yet, uh, but there are definitely a lot of bees in there, as you can see on the top of that second box there. Uh, over on the other two hives, the Italians, they're not as uh, strong yet. As you can see, um, I lifted up the bottom, so you can see the bottom 10-frame uh, box, and it looks like they're still down there. They haven't really moved too much up into the top box yet. Um, there's still a lot of honey in, in there. Of course, uh, those honey, uh, the honey in, in those two kind of came from the other two hives that I lost this year and I shared some of the honey they had left in, in there so they still had lots of sugar up on top as well so I think they're fine with food and they still still seem to be a smaller cluster uh, so they're not don't, don't they don't seem to be brooding up as much but these cornolians man they're booming out of there so next week I'm gonna do a deeper dive this is more of a quick just to look to see what I'm looking at in food stores and definitely uh, the one cornolian is getting pretty low. So I'm going to have to think about what I can do there. Probably add more sugar. I don't really want to go liquids yet because we still have 25 degree nights. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's where I'm looking at with my beehives at the moment. Um, I'm going to do a deeper dive next week and really see what's going on down in those brood chambers.